What's update? I'm definitely zero. This is definitely a Lancia Fulvia with a pencil lovingly attached to the dashboard, and we're back for part two of four bits, whatever, of whatever this is in Greece. Um, we still have no idea what we're doing, but we were fifth last time out, and I'm sticking to my policy of being incredibly slow until I can be fast. Um, it's incredibly jittery, and I'm really struggling to get hold of it. it Every time I get a little bit of confidence, I feel it's about to punish me, like there, and you sort of, you go into a corner and just sort of hope that the, the loving hand of the rally gods pushes you round correctly and not off a cliff. Oh, that was always going to happen, I suppose. At least we're keeping Mr. Fujishima in work. Um, so yeah, last time out we got a fifth. We hired Mr. Fujishima purely on the base of his name, so a bit of racial profiling into the mix as well. And we didn't drive off a cliff and kill everybody in a tragic accident. Which, a start to go, isn't too bad. But we were painfully slow, and this is not going to be any different. Now, I'm presuming that if I knew how to set this thing up, because obviously I barely know how to set up an F1 car after five seasons, and the, the items that you tweak in the setup on a car like this compared to an F1 car are just obviously so different. Um, that I'm not touching them until I know what they do. So if anyone has any insight, I would appreciate it. Only 11 seconds off the pace. It's strange because I'm still thinking in F1 terms and 11 seconds off the pace is like light years, but apparently in rallying that's no biggie. Oh, a bit of a weave there. Now, obviously something else. <coughs> I, I keep trying to compare it to F1 because that's sort of my point of reference. And F1 2 is a game that punishes you if you're not kind of on every beat, but it seems the punishment here is actually much harsher because you have all these sort of natural dips and hazards and things that if you clip a rock on the side of the road or a tree or you get your braking point wrong, you will just dive off a cliff and completely end your race, whereas in F1, you know, if you run wide or you touch the gravel, yeah, you know, you are punished, you will and maybe right drop back, uh, you know, a few tenths or maybe even a second from the car in front, and it's very frustrating to have to close that gap down again and go for a pass, but you're still, you're still able to sort of save it to some degree, whereas with this, like, I bet that would look cool from the outside, slow but, but cool and impressive. Um, with this, like, you make a miscalculation, and it's very hard to know, I feel, if you're making a miscalculation. Like, I'm just throwing things into... I'm throwing it into the corners, and just sort of hoping that the rally gods lovingly guide it around the corner. And I'll be buggered if I can tell you when I pull the brake, when I'll stop. I have no idea. Uh, lock the brake. See what I mean there? Like... Oh... Uh, Tragedy. Look at my poor wing mirror there, just Keep right past junction over knocked into the bonnet. 100. That's so sad on a car this beautiful. Right yeah, see, I nearly drove over a cliff there. Right like, it's strange back. because I can't really, I guess with a bit of experience, I'll be able to, to express to you what right I'm feeling six. through the controller. But the visual right. that you're watching back probably right doesn't back. communicate to you how close I was to just flying off a cliff there. Of course, if you're familiar with the game, then you'll probably be able to see the many, many, many mistakes I made in my life to lead me up to that point. Like with that. Ooh. Can I recover my car, please? Yep. <coughs> we'll just pretend that didn't happen. At least Mr. Fujishima is going to earn his pay today. Yeah, I, I don't know. The, I keep saying that the brakes are locking. I don't know if they necessarily are. It's just that we're on a, a very loose surface. And there's kind of an optimum velocity and trajectory to get you round a corner quickly. And I tend to either get round a corner but slowly or get overconfident and over kill myself. I tell you what though, it does it does give you a sort of a newfound respect for, for real rally drivers. I mean, not that anyone ever doubted it was a hard sport, but 
80. If you've ever been go-karting and done a long a long go-kart session, like you've double or triple booked a session and you're dangerously unfit like me or Simon, you'll realise by the end of it how fit you must be to actually be competitive in a serious discipline. That's not going to end well. It's okay, we're learning. We're learning. And maybe this is hilarious to some of you. I, I, I sincerely hope it is. Um, but I have a feeling that it's probably more just tragic. You know, like a, cr a clown crying? Uh, that kind of macabre charade? What I do like though is you've got a lot more variation in what's right demanded of you. I can see why Kimi Raikkonen went into rallying after F1. And right six, like, 60, left over F1 is fun, but this just offers that, that totally different level of challenge where you have no idea what's coming over the over the horizon and it might be totally different to what you've been driving thus far. Well, that is going to... It didn't actually push us back. That's incredible. We're still holding on to fifth. We're going to catch you at some point, Peter Sarlo. I've decided his first name's Peter. Um, what we need, I believe, is a third place to earn promotion. Um, that means we're going to have to hope that the two guys in front of us have a massive accident that detains them for about a minute. That's not technically impossible, and as you can see, there are some failures happening to the guys behind us. Charlie Alonso um, down here has a puncture. So, you know, maybe one of them gets unlucky and then all we need to do is close the gap to Peter Sarlo. Anyway, I'm having a blast with this. I hope you are too. I'll see you again soon.